Hey guys, I'm Greg Mercer and we are live. Welcome to this Prime Day webinar. I'm excited to be here tonight. I'm gonna to show you exactly how to find profitable products on Amazon, okay? So this of course changes over the time, it's changed over the years. And I'm gonna show you what's working really well right now so that next year, if you're not selling yet, you can take advantage of Amazon Prime Day, all right? So with that being said, I have a few slides for you guys. Then I'm gonna jump right in to a screen share so you can watch over my shoulder as I find a product for you. We are live, one of the benefits of being live is I can read the chat box right now. I see Sam Sam say hello and Gary, hi from Houston and everyone else. Um, if you want, you can drop questions in the chat box. I'm gonna save most of them till the end, but if I see something pop up that a lot of people are asking, I might stop and talk about it for um, just a minute, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, it is Amazon Prime Day. For those of you who aren't familiar with Amazon Prime Day, it is the biggest day of sales for the entire year for Amazon sellers, okay? So this is bigger than Black Friday. This is bigger than Cyber Monday. This is a very exciting day for Amazon sellers. And I was just making a search on Amazon. Look at this, this is crazy. There's so much traffic on Amazon's site right now that their site is crashed. I just made a search. Let's try again, bamboo sticks. And it looks like their site's just down. Um, I'm sure they'll get it fixed soon, but it's crazy to think how much traffic has to be on Amazon's site in order for it to crash. Uh, and I guess there's enough there to do so. So kind of sucks a little bit for Amazon sellers, but it just goes to show like, holy smokes, this thing is um, the biggest sale day of the year for Amazon sellers. So. Uh, Last year alone, it was 2.4 billion in sales. This year, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot more than that. Uh, Prime Day is only open for Prime members, which I guess there's over 100 million people who have Prime memberships, which is crazy. There's only, what, 350 million people in the US. Um, I think this is worldwide, but it's uh, crazy nonetheless. So, for those of you, let me know in the chat box right now, actually, um, how many of you are not yet selling on Amazon. That's what I like to see. Um, for those of you who are selling on Amazon, congratulations. Today's gonna be an awesome day, much higher than what they've been um, in the past few weeks. And if you're not yet selling, let me know. And I um, and what I'm gonna show you here is how to find a product so you can take advantage of all these shoppers on Amazon just going crazy trying to find deals next year, all right? so. There's a few different things that I look for when I'm looking for a great product to sell on Amazon. And I am mainly gonna focus here on selling private label products on Amazon because that is my favorite method for selling products on Amazon, okay? Um, so of course you can also source products from wholesalers or do the arbitrage thing or whatever else. But my favorite way for selling products on Amazon is called private label. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the opportunity, what I mean when I say this is we find a factory in China, we purchase the goods straight from the source, so straight from the factory. We put our brand on it, so that's our name or our um, private label, and then we sell it on Amazon. This has a whole bunch of advantages, just to name a few. You know, it's factory direct, so you get factory direct pricing. There's nowhere cheaper to get goods than straight from the factory. By having your own brand, you're brand, building up a brand, you're building up that brand equity, um, and it's a brand that over time people will know, and that brand alone becomes valuable. By creating your own brand, you then have your own listing on Amazon. So, you know, if I was to go and sell um, this some um, Sony headphones, I would have to list that on a listing that other people are selling, and I would have to share it with them, okay? So by creating your own listing, you don't have to share it with anyone, and you can really devote a lot of resources to making a really great listing to help you with those reviews, or uh, with those sales, right? So. A few of the methods I'm gonna to cover tonight, we're gonna to talk about how to find something with high sales and low competition. We're gonna talk about how to spot opportunities that have high sales yet poor listing quality. And then we're also gonna talk about how to spot opportunities that have high sales, even though the reviews on the product are low, all right? And the, advan the reason that that is so um, useful is because then you can read those negative reviews to find out what you can do to make the product better. And once the product's better, you know, if those crappy products are selling well, then your product that you've made better will do, uh, should take away a lot of their sales and do even better, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna jump right into um, our demo here. Um, something I wanted to mention just real quickly is if you guys aren't familiar with it, 
Uh, over the course of the past two years, we've been running something called the Million Dollar Case Study. And the Million Dollar Case Study, what it is, is it is a fully transparent case study where we've launched three products and we're scaling the business up to a million dollars. So I think we've um, hit about seven or $800,000 worth of sales. If you wanna check it out, you can go check it out at junglescout.com forward slash the million dollar case study. Uh, we'll drop this link in the chat box because I know it's kind of long. But what I'm gonna show you tonight is the exact same methods that we've used to find these three winning products and do seven or $800,000 in sales. Not only that, but we're actually getting ready to launch a new million dollar case study. So on that same page, you can enter your uh, first name and email address and um, we'll get you entered into this case study. It's totally free. All the money we make from the case study from selling the products on Amazon goes to Pencils of Promise to build schools in underprivileged countries. So it's super cool. But tonight, um, you don't wanna miss this webinar because I'm gonna be showing you all the same tactics that we've used to launch these three products so successfully on Amazon, okay? So what I'm gonna do is hop, I've hopped in here into the Jungle Scout web app, all right? So this is one of the Jungle Scout products. And this is what we're gonna be using tonight to help us find these opportunities on Amazon. And um, if you stay till the end of the webinar, everyone always asks this, we don't like running deals normally, but since it is Prime Day, we are gonna be offering a, a great deal at the end of this webinar, um, just like Amazon's offering all those great Prime deals to their members today, all right? So this is how I start finding those profitable opportunities on Amazon. I've gone into the Jungle Scout product database, and what this is, is this is a catalog that we've built of all the Amazon products and lets you sort through these products to find good opportunities on Amazon, all right? So Amazon's down right now, but when it is working, there's no way for, for you to type in like, hey, show me all the products that sell well even they have low competition, right? Like that just doesn't exist on Amazon. So we've taken all the products out of their catalog, we've put them in our database, our product database, and we let you sort through them that way. And um, I normally do the US as an example because I sell most of my products in the US. However, I do like to go to the store and then look at them. And since Amazon's down, right, as we speak, I'm just gonna switch over to the UK. Um, it supports all North America, EU, as well as India. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is select some categories, right? So what I'm doing here is in on the UK um, Amazon site, there's about 20 million products. And that's way too many to look through. So we're gonna insert some filters here so that we can filter the good opportunities out of here. And we're gonna use those same methods that I talked about, all right? So just to start, we're gonna select some of the categories. The only categories that I don't really like selling private label products are in are items that are complicated, are items that um, break easily, or items that people have like a strong brand allegiance to, all right? So watches, they break easily, and people probably like, like the name brand watches. Shoes and bags, people love the brand name stuff. Um, software, oh, the other ones like media, so software and books, uh, CDs, uh, DVDs, those are the type of products I don't like to private label, uh, video games I don't, and all right, that's good enough for here, all right? Um, you can enter a whole bunch of other filters here. The only ones that we're gonna offer, uh, insert to start, I like selling products that are a little bit higher price as opposed to items that only cost like five bucks or 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna do a minimum of, let's say um, 17, uh, I guess it's gonna be pounds because we're searching on the UK store. Um, the max number of reviews, let's do the maximum 50 reviews. And the minimum sales, let's say at least 10 units a day or 300 units per month. This is on monthly sales, right? So all we're looking at here is items over $17 items that sell at least 300 units per month and have under 50 reviews. And under 50 reviews lets us know that this isn't very competitive because this product is selling well even though it hasn't been on Amazon very long. Uh, we know it hasn't been on Amazon very long because it doesn't have many reviews yet, all right? So we're gonna hit search and we want it from 20 million down to 3,100, so that's a great start, okay? And now what? these are all potential product ideas, okay? Um, so what these products are here are all of the items that are selling at least 300 units per month have at least are under 50 reviews 
and are priced over 17 pounds. And I probably could have done like 15 pounds because I think 15 pounds is about 20 bucks, but this is close enough, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through these product ideas that I have here. And I'm gonna look for products that I think are relatively simple because simple, small products are easier to get manufactured in China and easier to ship from China, okay? So something like this, a, a wood chopping block, I'm just gonna open that in a new tab. That's something that's simple, relatively small, and it's fairly easy to get sent from China, okay? So same thing, like something like this, a cotton tote bag, that'd be relatively easy to get shipped from China. Where are we at here? And I'm just using a few examples right here off this front page, okay? Um, 2,000 results, there's lots of uh, pages of results here, but I'm just looking at a few from this front page. And literally all I'm doing is right now, I'm just looking at the pictures and scrolling through the pictures, okay? Um, the, the items that I don't like to sell are very large items, very expensive items, um, items that are difficult to ship, okay? These are all the types of things that are, or difficult to get manufactured. Um, so, you know, suitcase is pretty big. What else do we see here? We saw these chairs, those are pretty big. Let's try to find something smaller and simpler as one more example. We could try these. Um, these picture frames, the only thing I don't like about picture frames is they break pretty easily, but um, for the, uh, the purposes of this examples, this will work, all right? So now I have three product ideas. I have cotton tote bags, picture frames, and bamboo chopping boards, all right? So we'll start with the picture frames. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna type in picture frame into the search bar. And we know that that one individual item that I was looking at, we know that it sells well, right? We saw right here in the web app that this item sells um, 390 units per month. Um, it has exactly 50 reviews, so it just met our filter. Um, and it's 17 pounds and 89 cents, all right? So we know that one product does well, but what about the opportunity as, the, as a whole? What about the entire niche? How well do the rest of the picture frames sell? Is it just that one item that sells really well or do all of them sell pretty well, all right? So what I'm using now is called the Jungle Scout extension. Let me zoom in a little, it might be a little bit easier to see. Um, so how the Jungle Scout extension works is you go to an Amazon page that's showing products, you click the little Jungle Scout icon in the upper right here, and then within a few seconds, all this information populates, all right? And what this is, is this gives us the information for all the products on this individual page. As you can see here, it gives you like product name, brand, price, category, rank, sales, which is very important, um, revenue, reviews, uh, the net after Amazon fees and the listing quality score. All right, so let's just go through a few of these real quick. Some of you guys are familiar with Jungle Scout, but other uh, guys aren't. So when, I, um, uh, when I'm looking at these products, all right, I see a few things, all right? So I see this product right here. It's doing 1,400 sales per month, but it has 1,800 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. Um, something else I can do is I can click on sales and what this does um, for the products that have been in our database, it gives you the historical unit monthly sales. So I can see this product all the way back from to February of 2015, and I can see how many units they've sold each month for all this time, all right? So, you know, um, this month, we're estimating they're gonna sell about 623. Last month, they sold 465. The month before, 243. So this is kind of nice to go back and look. It looks like around Christmas, and yeah, it looks like around Christmas, these sell the best. November, December, that then it did well in February. Um, and then it looks like the sales are a little bit slower during the month. So that's good seasonality information to understand. I can also see what the um, what the price history of this particular picture frame is. Uh, again, this goes all the way back to 2014, and it's been well, it's been pretty inexpensive, right? Five pounds, six pounds, six pounds, etc. So that gives you really valuable information. You can do the same thing with the rank and see the rank history. Um, so this is all like really valuable information for sellers to know. Uh, let's just look at the net real quick as well. 
What the net is, is this shows you how much money is left over after Amazon fees. So for the one I clicked, which one did I click? This one, there's six or six pounds and 11 cents left over after Amazon fees. I can go in here, I can enter my product costs. Let's say my product cost is two pounds. I can calculate the profit. And it shows me right here that after all of Amazon's fees, I would make four uh, pounds and 11 cents. All right, so that's the Jungle Scout extension as a whole, but we don't really care about the Jungle Scout extension right now. All we wanna know is, is the picture frame a good opportunity? So what I do is I look at the first page of results and I like to see a opportunity that sells at least about 2000 units per month, all right? Total. Um, the If you add all these sales together, it's way over 2000. Just in the first two or three listings, that's well over 2000. So there's lots of demand in this particular category. However, I try to look for something without too much competition, and this doesn't fit the bill. A good way to gauge competition is the number of reviews. I like to see two or three, maybe four sellers in the top 10 with under 50 reviews. If I look at this right here, this top 10, 230 reviews, 1850, 520, 698, 93, so tons of reviews, right? So this is very competitive. One other gauge for overall competitiveness is um, how many, how easy it is for your product to differentiate from others, okay? So does your product look like just like every other product on here? Like for example, is it like a black, fairly plain frame? If so, it's pretty hard to differentiate and there's a whole page full of um, similar products, okay? So this, this particular opportunity is too competitive for me. So I'm gonna skip over to the next one, all right? We'll look at one more potential opportunity using this method, then I'll jump over and show you guys a different method. And um, just so you guys know, I usually have to check through probably like 10 or more opportunities to find one that I would actually sell. I haven't looked at any of these products ahead of time. I'm just trying to do a demo here, but we'll see how um, tote bags um, look as far as an opportunity, all right? So, these are kind of similar. Yeah, they're close enough. Cotton, these are all cotton tote bags. So let's look at some of these cotton tote bags. Let's see how well they sell and how many um, reviews there are, all right? So, like I said, I like to see about 2,000 units of demand throughout the entire niche. If I were to add all these together, um, yeah, there's plenty of, um, re, uh, sorry, plenty of sales. And if I look at number of reviews, it's actually not very competitive, right? Some of these tote bags, they only have zero reviews, eight reviews, one review, um, 21 reviews, zero reviews, seven reviews. So this guy, he only has seven reviews and he's selling 284 units per month. Uh, this one's probably priced a little too low for me, but you get an idea, all right? So it has lots of sales, it's not very competitive, and this shows you up here medium demand with low competition, all right? So the opportunity score is seven out of 10. So overall, this is actually a pretty darn good opportunity. The only thing I don't like about this opportunity or that I wish was a little bit better was I wish the prices were a little bit higher. Um, Amazon being down caught me a little bit off guard. I normally do a, a US demo, but I think 10 British pounds, I guess we could see here, 10 British pounds to US dollar. Uh, British pounds is, yeah, that's it's only 1.3. So yeah, I would look for something a little bit um, more expensive than that. But that's a great example of an opportunity that I would say is a pretty good opportunity, but if I were to look a few more minutes, I'd find something a little bit better, right? So that is one type of prof, uh, one type of product to find, all right? High sales with low competition. Um, that's a great way to launch products. That's how I've launched a whole bunch of products, but we're gonna talk about a few of these other opportunities as well. Because remember, we also talked about here finding products that have high sales but poor listing quality and high sales but poor reviews. So I'm gonna go back into the web app to do that. I'm gonna keep my minimum at um, 17 uh, British pounds. Uh, we'll keep 300 unit sales, but this time we said a poor quality listing, all right? So what this is, is what we've done is we've ranked all the listings on Amazon zero through 100. 
So really, if it's ranked less than like 40 or 50, the review's probably pretty crap, the listing's probably pretty crappy. And what we're trying to do here is um, we're trying to find all of the products that are selling well, even though they have a really terrible listing, because hey, if it's selling well with a really bad listing, you could probably sell the same thing with a good listing and take away most of their sales. Uh, so we'll keep the categories. I'm gonna hit search again. Um, for this particular one, there's only 265. However, I could alter the um, filters a little bit to find something that, uh, if I wanted to find some more results. And keep in mind, this is only for the UK store. And let's just check some of these out, all right? So this is what I mean when I talk about a product that's selling well, even though it has crappy a crappy listing, right? Um, it sells 860 units per month, but look how bad the listing is, all right? Now, the you're allowed to have up to seven images. This product only has one image. It um, You're allowed to have like 250 characters in the title, which means a whole bunch of keywords so people can find it easier. Um, it only has, this is a really short title, it could be way longer. It doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't even have bullet points, all right? So you're allowed to put five bullet points right here and it has zero bullet points, so that's really bad. And if we scroll down, the product description, this can be like around 2,000 characters long and this right here, this is probably only like 100 characters. So this listing is really crappy, all right? It has a really bad description, it has no bullet points and only has one image. The, the image is decent, but it only has one, okay? Um, so this is like a great opportunity and it's selling for 20 pounds. This is a great opportunity. I can, I could probably, um, get this just, you know, just cause I've sourced quite a few products from China. I could probably find this watering pail in China. I'm guessing for like two or $3, sell it for 20 British pounds, which is equivalent to like 26 us dollars. Um, there'll be a lot of potential profit to be made selling something like this, all right? So this is a great way to find product opportunities that you can easily improve on the listings, okay? So that was method number two for finding high quality. And actually, to be honest, I, I didn't sort through this um, at all before the webinar. Like I said, I was planning on doing a US demo and the, the website's down. Um, and this was just the first one. So I'm sure we could scroll through this and find some more, but we don't really need to. So the third opportunity, like I said, high sales, yet it has poor quality reviews. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna edit this one more time. Um, we'll keep the minimum price at 17, minimal sales at 300 units per month. I'm gonna delete the listing quality score. And instead I'm gonna show me all the products that are over 17 pounds, more than 300 reviews. Even though the rating is maximum, let's say three, let's try 3.7. The reason I do 3.7, not 3.5 is 3.7 actually shows up like in the visual uh, star ratings as 3.5, which is pretty bad. Once you have that bad of review rating, um, your conversions really drop a lot, all right? So here's some products that sell well, even though they have really poor quality reviews. Now. I wouldn't recommend you sell the exact same product that's getting crappy reviews. I would recommend that you sell a similar product, but improve on it, work with your factory to improve on it, to try to make it better. Um, so it's kind of funny that a, a picture frame popped up again. This one's a little bit different because it's um, running uh, 35 pounds, but this is, let's see, how many was it selling? It's selling 330 per month, which is quite a few even though it only has three out of five stars, which is bad, all right? So let me find out what makes this particular um, uh, frame so bad. So I'm gonna scroll down to the reviews. I'm gonna click on the one star reviews. And this is cool because like five or 10 years ago, companies like this had to spend, I don't know, tens, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars doing like these market research, market studies to find out what people like and don't like about their product and all that kind of stuff. And now all we have to do is scroll down, read the bad reviews, and then we can figure out how to improve on these products, all right? So right here, it says that um, uh, it was not sturdy, poor quality, uh, had sawdust in it. It's not a box frame. It's not a box frame, not well made. 
All right, so it looks like they're advertising this thing as a box frame, which they are. It says modern box frames. Um, yeah, so it's not really a box frame and it just sounds like it's poor quality, which for 35 pounds, which is like 45, 50 ish dollars, you would expect something pretty high quality and it would get be easy to get something made that's high quality. Yet this thing's still selling 337 units per month, all right? So this is like another example of something that you'd work with your factory, either you'd make a real box frame or you wouldn't advertise it as a box frame. You would work with them to make it a little bit higher quality because they can, this something like this is so cheap to get made in China. And then um, you could take away a lot of the sell, the sales from this seller. Let's look at one more example um, for this particular one. So again, I'm looking for something that would be relatively simple or easy to improve, all right? So like insect foggers, maybe I can improve on that. Moth traps, maybe. What are those, just sticky things? Um, yeah, they are just sticky. Easy to use, no pesticides. All right, I could probably improve on this. And look at this, this has a really crappy listing too. Um, really short title, only one picture, even though it's selling 350 units per month, all right? Let me scroll down and see what people complain about. Uh, this particular, the, the three pack doesn't have any reviews. Let's try, all right, it was the one pack. Amazon UK might be broken too. It says 261, but then when I click on it, it says zero. Come on, Amazon, you got this. There they are, okay. Um, so let's read the bad reviews. All right, um, an increase in moss ever since we put them up, that's not good. Um, no moss stuck to it. I've not caught one, didn't work. None of them have caught any moths. So it seems like these things just, I don't know if it's like the, the insect attractant stuff on it or the stickiness is broken, but this would probably be something that you could work with our uh, the factory to improve. Let's try to find one more because um, I don't know a ton about improving um, bug killers. Those are a little bit harder for me to improve. Um, let's look through this. Some of the things you'll find, this one. So this one has 2.4 out of five stars. That's so bad. I would never buy anything on Amazon with 2.4 stars. It's selling over 10 a day, 330 a month. Let's see what's wrong with this thing. A lot of one star reviews. Um, too flimsy. Cardboard. Uh, holes in it sags into the way of a single item, flimsy cheap. All right, so this is like another good example of um, this product just needs to be made better. And again, for 27 pounds, if I had to guess, I guess this thing, even high quality, only costs like $5 to make. Um, this is another like great, like this would be, this is a, a prime candidate of something that's really easy to work with a factory in China. And this particular webinar isn't about finding factories, but let me just show you this real quick. Um, let me just search for hanging garment organizer on Alibaba. This is a great place to find um, find factories. Let me try Cube. Um, that's kind of like it. This factory could probably make it, but let me see if there's something that mimics it exactly. Uh, this is pretty close to it. See, so, yeah, I mean, they're saying this is only the two, so it's it would need to be a little bit bigger, but they're only saying it's uh, roughly $1 per unit. So if you got the four cubes, maybe $2 per unit, you talk to them about using like heavy duty material, maybe that jacks the price up to $3 per unit, or let's let's say it triples it. Now we're at like five or $6 a unit. Still after Amazon fees, the net here is like 15 or $20. That means that um, you'd be making a ton of money selling this product on Amazon, all right? So again, another just great example of something that'd be easy to improve. You could sell this on Amazon UK. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it, it would be a good opportunity. Let's just demo the extension one more time. I'm gonna do hanging garment organizer. 
All right, so a bunch of these. Let me just show you guys how the extension works. So again, after you make a search on the Amazon um, homepage, you click the little button up here, the Jungle Scout extension. This is after you install the extension. Uh, the extension is telling me it's medium demand with low competition. Um, there's plenty of sales. If I were to add these all together, we have probably maybe 3,000 sales. It's not too competitive, right? The fifth seller only has one review. The seventh seller only has two reviews. The ninth seller only has two. The 11th seller only has eight. And whoa, the ratings for these are really bad. Um, it looks like, let's see, you know, 2.5 stars, 2.5 stars, 3.5 stars. So a lot of these get really bad reviews. I would imagine if you made something high quality, actually like this, oh, these are packing cubes. If, uh, by the way, for those of you who use the extension, if you see something in there that's not um, relevant, you can click this X over here to move it out, all right? So, I mean, some of these guys are selling a lot of these things, even though the, um, the ratings are really bad. So this is again, like a good example of a type of product that you could sell um, that does pretty, that would, I would imagine do pretty darn well. Let's see if um, Amazon.com is back up. Bamboo sticks. Nope. <laughs> Amazon is still down. Jeff Bezos is probably pissed. That's all right. Okay, so that's how, that's the main method that I use for finding products. I sort, sort through the product database inside of the web app. I then run the extension on it once I get to the Amazon store. Those are the three types of methods that I use. Remember, high sales, low competition, high sales with poor listing quality, or high sales with poor reviews, all right? Those are all ways that I, those are all items that I do to look for new products. Let's talk about these other items inside of the web app real quick, because if you do decide to take advantage of our special, um, you can use uh, these other items in here as well. So there's, there's a few other features inside of here. I have the product tracker, the niche hunter, and the keyword scout. What the product tracker does is this tracks how many units any item on Amazon selling on a daily basis, all right? So let's go back here. Let's just take this picture frame. I'm gonna go into the Jungle Scout uh, um, product tracker here. It's gonna add this item to my category. Let's start a new category here, picture frames UK. And I'm gonna move this into there. It looks like for this particular one, there's no sales data yet, but if you check back in about a day, there will be, all right? So if I look at an item that there is sales data for, this is what it looks like. I would say about 80% of the items already have sales data saved into our system, so you'll see this immediately. If you add any items like that picture frame that we as a company haven't been tracking yet, then you have to check back in a few days and it'll have more data, all right? But this is what it looks like when you add products that uh, do have data or this is what it'll look like after a little bit of time after it's been tracking it. And this shows you how much inventory they had in stock, that's the blue line, how many units were sold that day, and what the rank is as well as the price, all right? So this product actually ran out of stock. This is one of my competitors. Uh, they ran out of stock a couple weeks ago and unfortunately they're not back in stock for Prime Day. Um, so you can, with this you can see up to 60 day, days of sales history, all right? Let's look at a few other ones. Um, right here we have eyeglass straps. What else are we tracking? Some more eyeglass straps. So this just shows you what kind of inventory they had each day and how many units were sold um, that respective day, all right? So this is a really good way to create groups. Like what else we had? We had those um, cube organizers, all right? You can create categories like this and then you can add those products into there. I don't know where the cube organizer went, but anyway, I could, I could copy and paste that into here or add it from the extension and then I could collect all those ideas in there. And then what happens is over time, I can go through and I can look at these products and I can see how many they've sold each day and what their inventory has been, all right? So this is um, really beneficial to like look at products underneath the magnifying glass and better understand how well they're selling on a day daily basis. And it's just a great way to collect all of your product ideas, all right? So I, I'd recommend creating a category for each one, another product idea here. And then again, you can just take each of these categories, you can drag in between. So if this was a cube organizer, I can drag and I can drop it in there. And then I can keep track of all my cube organizers in this category. Right? So it's very valuable 
when you're looking at different product ideas and comparing different product ideas. The Niche Hunter does something similar to the product database, except instead of looking at individual product ideas, it looks at like niches or opportunities as a whole. So we're starting to run out of time, so I'm not gonna go through and demo this. However, it would work similar to the product database where you select which categories you want, you would select how many units sold or what the competition score, the listing quality score, and it will filter out all of the niches that are relevant for your inputs, all right? I am gonna take um, uh, one minute to demo the Keyword Scout because this is brand new. And what this is, is this shows you the um, uh, keywords for a particular, uh, you can either input a ASIN or you can input a uh, keyword idea. So let's just do here marshmallow sticks. A lot of you guys know that I sell marshmallow sticks. And what this is, is I've inputted marshmallow sticks and then I see all the results associated with that particular keyword, all right? So I inputted marshmallow sticks and I love Keyword Scout because it's showing you tons of good keywords that aren't necessarily, don't necessarily include your input, okay? So my input was marshmallow sticks. However, Keyword Scout is smart enough to know that marshmallow sticks are a type of camping cookware that people use uh, marshmallow sticks for s'mores and s'more kits. It's smart enough to know you use these around a campfire or people also call them barbecue skewers. Um, it shows you like just tons of good keyword ideas here, bonfire accessories, fire pit accessory, all right? So Keyword Scout's really smart in recommending keywords that people would search for and then end up buying your product. It's the, by far the best in the business at that. It also has the, ex the real search volumes from Amazon, okay? So this shows me exact match search volume and broad match search volume. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, exact match, it means they search for exactly camping cookware. Broad match, they search for like um, big camping cookware or um, camping outdoor cookware. So it could have a word before, in between, or after it. That would mean it's a broad match. We also give you information like HSA bids, that's headline search ad bids, exact match and broad match PPC bids. So those are using Amazon sponsored products. Those are two different match types and the recommended bids associated with them. We also give you the recommended giveaways. So if you're trying to rank for camping cookware, we would recommend you have to give away 20 units a day to re uh, rank for that for the first one to two weeks. And lastly, the relevancy score, such as how relevant is this keyword to the seed keyword? And for this one, it got a five, which is pretty low. Or something like a marshmallow roasting stick, that's very relevant, so it got a higher score of 52, okay? So Keyword Scout is extremely valuable when it comes time to A, search for more similar products. So I'm like, hey, I might, I might wanna sell marshmallow sticks, let me see what camping cookware is like, because now I know to look for that. B, creating your listing. So when it time, comes time to create your listing, I can see what type of search volume all these keywords have, okay? That's very valuable. And C, when it comes time to do sponsored products, this is the best place to go to see what keywords I should be bidding on, what I can expect the cost per click to be, um, and a number uh, of different items like that, all right? So, With all that being said, I lo I'm looking up at the chat box now. I see there's a whole bunch of uh, different questions. Um, I also see people asking about the promo. So let me tell you about the promo real quick since this is Prime Day. We very, very rarely ever do promotions, but in the spirit of Prime Day, we are doing one right now. So let me show that to you real quick and then I'll be happy to answer questions for the last 20 minutes, okay? so. For this promotion, we're doing two different promotions, all right? You can find both of them at junglescout.com forward slash prime 2018. For the first promotion, we're giving away four months of the standard level of the Jungle Scout web app. We're giving away the Jungle Scout Pro extension, all right, which is $197. Four months of the standard plan is $276. We're also giving you away the Sourcing Bible ebook, all right? This is like 
30 or 40 pages, I forget how long, but it's very long and it talks about a lot of the strategies that I've covered in this webinar in ebook format. We value that at $69. We've also included our video PPC course for when it comes time to do pay-per-click. We found that it intimidates a lot of people. So we've put together a really good PPC course. I forget how many videos it is. It's like 15 or 20 videos that are really well edited and very well done. Uh, $99 value. So all of that would be a $641 value, but we're gonna give you a big discount on it. But first, let me tell you about the second offer. This gives you one year of the Jungle Scout standard web app, all right? So $69 a month, you get it for 12 months, which is $828 value. You get lifetime access to the Jungle Scout Pro extension that costs 197 bucks. And again, that sourcing ebook and the advanced video PPC course, all that works out to be about $1,200 value, okay? But of course, in the spirit of Prime Day, we're offering the biggest discount right now um, that we've offered this kind of stuff all year. And we actually won't offer another discount this deep, this large for the rest of the year. So they're both about 50% off. The package with four months of the web apps, $319. The package with a year of the web app is only $519. So if you go back and look, it's not $641. It's not $1,193. It's 319 or $519. And you can get both of these deals at junglescout.com forward slash prime dash 2018. We'll also drop a link to this in the chat box, all right? So this deal ends when Prime Day ends, all right? So those of you who are familiar with Prime Day, it started today at noon, it ends tomorrow night at midnight. So we're gonna do the same. We don't wanna leave this deal up forever, so we're ending the deal when Prime Day ends tomorrow night at midnight. And if you're on the fence and you don't know, just be um, uh, aware that we do offer a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you purchase it, try it out for some reason, if you don't like it, which I'm not worried about, I'm confident that won't happen. Um, email us anytime in the next 14 days and we'll give you all your money back. No problem at all, all right? So um, for those of you who I see in the chat box right now already that says, what happens if you have the Chrome extension? There's also a little option at the bottom of their uh, deal for you where you get $100 off the price if you already have the extension. So again, junglescout.com forward slash prime 2018. And we're only running this, like I said, during Prime Day. So today and tomorrow until midnight, and that's when the deal ends. Don't email us on Wednesday morning because we're going to say thank you for your interest. But unfortunately, this deal does have to expire since we don't want to discount our goods forever. All right. Um, all right. Rebug got the free shirt. Nice job. Um, I already have the pro extension lifetime. All right. So with charity.org, you can go to junglescout.com forward slash prime 2018. And if you scroll down to the bottom, let me find the page. Do, 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 do. Here's the page. If you scroll down to the bottom, we have this deal just for you. You get four months of the web app and you get $100 off on that. So if you already have the extension and don't want it, you can take advantage of that. However, for anyone watching this who doesn't have the Chrome extension, I would, uh, I would recommend one of these packages because the two products work really well together, all right? If you have any questions for us, how do I reach you by email? You can, oops, lights went off behind me. You can email us at support at junglescout.com. We have our support team standing by. Um, they work seven days per week. They're, t they're more than happy to uh, help you out um, uh, with any questions you have. Uh, if the checkout doesn't work for you or if the, uh, any other, anything else that, um, you know, is going wrong, guys, then feel free to contact our support team. Um, we'd be more than happy to help. Wow, the um, the the feedback inside of the the, the chat box is fantastic. Um, D Music eighty six says totally awesome deal, and then like a hundred exclamation marks. Yes, it is an awesome deal. We don't offer stuff like this um, uh, often. Irene P O says seriously, Jungle Scout, my computer crashed. Love the Jungle Scout team. Keep crushing it. Okay, watching Greg subscribe. Just watch Greg's videos until you're ready. If that's today. Thank you. <laughs> um, is this charged monthly or is this a one-time charge? Alex, this is a one-time charge. You know, like you pay the $519 today, you get the um, the Jungle Scout extension for the rest of your life. 
and the Jungle Scout web app standard plan for the rest of the year. So this isn't like $519 a month. This is one-time fee and you get access to that for the rest of the year. All right, um, Jordan got my shirt. Can't wait to receive it and showcase it with pride. Awesome, put it on social and tag us. We love to see it. Um, what about the pro extension only? We're not offering a deal for the pro extension only. If that's all you want, you can go to our homepage and purchase it, but it is at normal full price. We don't have a prime deal for it. Um, people on mobile can't copy short links. Um, the, the link, if you just want to type it in, if you're on mobile is junglescout.com forward slash prime 2018. You can see it again right here. Um, jungloscott.com forward slash prime 2018. All right. Um, do you guys have one page that shows each of the Jungle Scott products with price? Confusing to know which products are included with the deal. Sure, you go to our homepage, but I'll tell you what, I'll just show you real quick what the two differences are, right? So what I'm looking at right now is the Jungle Scout web app. And if you're not familiar with this, the Jungle Scout web app is a SaaS application. It's a web-based piece of software. And inside of there is the product tracker, the product database, the niche hunter, and the keyword scout, okay? So all these items that I demoed, this right here is the web app, okay? So sorry about the confusion for that. This is the Jungle Scout web app. We're looking at it. We're on members.junglescout.com. You would go to our website, you would log in, you'd use this It's a web-based application. The Jungle Scout Chrome extension, it's a little bit different. It integrates into your Chrome browser. And once you have it, you click on the little Jungle Scout, you see this pop-up appear, okay? Let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. And it gives you all these pieces of data. Now this is different because I'm on Amazon right now, right? I'm on the Amazon website. Once I install the extension, I have access to all this data, all right? So I just click the little Jungle Scout button, I see the extension here and I get all these nice pieces of information, right? So those are the two Jungle Scout products. We have the Jungle Scout web app, which is shown here, remember? And then we have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, too many tabs open now, which is shown right here, right? So those are the two Jungle Scout products. In addition, remember that you do get the two eBooks, the Sourcing Bible, or sorry, one eBook, which is the Sourcing Bible, and the other add-on is the Advanced PPC course, or the PPC course. It's a really nice video course that when it comes time to do um, your PPC that has all the information you need in it. All right. Um, Uh, a few people asked about the, the Chrome extension. We don't have a Prime Day deal for just the Chrome extension. Um, yeah. Can you use Jungle Scout for merch by Amazon results? Yes, you can. Um, when I try to purchase the offer, it only lets me create an account, won't let me sign in. Um, that's strange, Dominique. I don't know for sure what's going on there. If it keeps happening to you, feel free to just email us, support at junglescout.com, and I'd be more than happy, uh, our team's more than happy to help you out. Um, different computers from time to time have little uh, problems, and our, our team can uh, get you uh, hooked up, don't worry. Fashion Lovers just says, love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, Fashion Lovers. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, all right. All right, I need to answer the question before taking next step. If we do explore to find good potential products for Jungle Scout, how long is this data valid? All procedure will, will take time up to three months. Okay, that's, that's a really good question. So the, um, the data that's shown in there is like relevant and up to date, okay? So I think what you're asking is like, you're a little bit worried that it shows you some data right now, but like what about seasonality and those types of things? Like what if it's not selling as well um, this upcoming uh, fall or whatever else. And the best way to know that is to look at the historical sales data, okay? So right here, um, we have sales data. This is probably when the product was launched um, since December of 2016. And what I can see is, well, the first three months, they didn't make that many sales. Um, but after that, the sales have been pretty consistent, okay? So that's like a great way to look at the previous sales history to get a better understanding of like how much seasonality there is there. Okay. All right. 
Melissa Warner says, are you selling t-shirts? I think if you go to the Jungle Scout Facebook page, there's a store on there and you can buy t-shirts, including the one that I'm wearing that says, I've got 99 problems, but finding a product ain't one. Jordan says, great work, Greg. Love the work you and your team have done with great support. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate the kind words. Um, let's see. Fashion Lover said, I've made 40K in six months. Wow, that's amazing. Nice job. Um, does a book, Jungle Scout do an ebook on product research? Um, I think if you go to our website under the free resources, we do have some free ebooks. However, the best ebook for product research is the one that we're only including with the Prime Day special, um, which is much more uh, advanced and in depth um, than what the free ones on our website would be. What's the link for the page you're showing in the stream? Um, the link for, I think you're talking about this one, junglescott.com forward slash prime dash 2018. Uh, we'll try to drop this in the chat box a few more times. Uh, let's see here. What's the benefit of having both the extension and the web app? Um, like I just showed you, those are two different products. So um, they work really nicely together, having both the web app and the extension, all right? Um, Tracy wants to know, fashion lovers, did you make that 40K after using Jungle Scout? It sounds like she did, because uh, or he or she did, because um, they're saying they love Jungle Scout. Uh, Brandon DeBell, thank you, Greg, and to the Jungle Scout team. How do you, how do I know how to figure out the cost of bidding for, for a keyword on PPC? Um, inside of the Keyword Scout, which is inside the Jungle Scout web app, that's where we show you uh, the recommended bid for PPC. All right. Fashion Lover says, yes, sir. That's after using Jungle Scout. They made that money. Congratulations. Um, oh, Sam Sam had a really nice thing to say. For those of you who are thinking of selling on Amazon, Jungle Scout is a must have. I've been using it every single day to find new products. Sam Sam, thank you very much for the kind words. I'm glad that it's been useful for you. Does the deal come with access to your video course, Sherry Love? Yes, the deal comes with access to the PPC course, to be clear. Hi, can I pay with PayPal? Luis, um, if you email support, they can actually send you a PayPal invoice. We don't really like pay using PayPal because it's kind of slow because it's not integrated with our system. But if you don't have a credit card and that's the only way you can check out, then you can email support and they um, will send you a PayPal invoice. All right. For backend keywords in Amazon, do you only fill in the search terms section or all the sections? Um, I go ahead and do all the sections, even though I'm not convinced Amazon really counts them as anything. Um, if I want a refund, how do I get one? You just email us, support at junglescout.com. We'll be more than happy to give it back. Um, as you can, you can see, just search for us on the internet and you'll see we're very uh, valid and trusted company um, that always wants to do the right thing. Uh, you can even see here if you want, you can go to trustpilot.com. This is like a website that people can leave reviews about companies. And if you search for Jungle Scout on there, you will see that we have 1,032 reviews. And um, on average, that's, I guess, five out of five, but go ahead and feel free to kind of like read through them or whatever else, but that's, um, you can tell that we're a, a legit company um, that way. We'll be more than happy to honor the refund if you were to choose to do so. Um, do you have a private Facebook group? We don't have a private Facebook group, but we do have a public one called the Amazon FBA Competitive Edge. All right, I'm gonna take a few questions from our Instagram account. On Instagram, we have a, um, a box where you can enter a question. 
If you're interested, um, you can follow us on Instagram. Just search for Jungle Scout and you'll find our official account on the Instagram stories. We put in one of those little boxes where you can ask a question. And um, so a few of the questions said, what do you think about selling on Amazon uh, like uh, Germany or France? All right, so I think you should sell on whatever Amazon platform is the least intimidating or the easiest for you to do, all right? So the US has the most demand, but it also has more competition. Um, and there's good opportunities on all of the Amazon platforms. That's why I'm the biggest fan of just selling on whatever Amazon platform is the easiest for you to do so, all right? So that's what I think about that. Um, another question from Instagram. And like I said, this is from the Instagram stories question box. If you're not following us on Instagram, you can do so. I'll be more than happy to answer these questions. Uh, just for search for us, uh, 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 just search for Jungle Scout on Instagram and you'll find us. Um, give us a follow. We post all kinds of cool stuff on there. Um, can you trademark, uh, sorry, where am I at here? Uh, do you send stock to Amazon on pallets or just send individual boxes? If it's only a few units, then I just send individual boxes using um, just loose packages on, uh, through uh, UPS. If I'm sending like a whole container load, then I put it on pallets and I send it in that way. All right. Um, uh, another one on Instagram, has your launch strategy changed lately? Um, the answer to that is all of my strategies are always evolving over time. Um, I, Tracy specifically mentioned here, blocking reviews for heavily discounted items. This is like a year or two old. This hasn't changed. Um, Amazon's been blocking reviews for heavily discounted items for a long time. They don't block all of them. They just have an algorithm that once they think you're kind of like abusing it, that's when they start to do it. So no, my uh, my strategy hasn't changed since they changed that. But if you wanna check out my latest strategy, you can head over to jumpsend.com. I recently did a webinar uh, and you can check that out. All right. Uh, is the web app the same as a smartphone app? No, it's not. So sorry if that uh, was confusing. The web application is a, uh, a web-based software platform. So um, I don't recommend you use this on the mobile phone. It does kind of work, but it has a lot of data here. So that's hard to display on a mobile phone. What's better is to go um, on like your desktop or laptop or whatever else and access it from there. All right. Um, how do I get a discount to upgrade to one of those two packages? If you already have some sort of Jungle Scout product, feel free to email us, support at junglescout.com, and they'll do their best to try to help you out to see if they can give you um, uh, access or upgrade you or um, that type of thing. All right. Let's see what else. What is the Jungle Scout email? Support at junglescout.com. All right, so shoot us an email with any of your questions or if you need to upgrade, if you're having checkout problems or anything else, just support at junglescout.com. All right, I see a number of questions about, up, you already have certain Jungle Scout products and you wanna to upgrade to one of the deals. So yeah, just shoot us an email. I'm gonna actually just type this into the chat box right as we speak. Um, uh, grab my keyboard. Support at junglescout.com. Bam. Oh man, I'm not a moderator, so I can't add email addresses, but one of our moderators will put it in there. Support at junglescout.com. Uh, all right. Dominique says they're offering a deal for the rest of the day for the web app, and you'll get the discount. It is definitely worth it. Thank you, Dominique. I'm glad to think it, I'm glad that you think it's definitely worth it. Um, sales versus inventory does not always match. Why is that? The, the number of sales would always match the change of inventory unless we've detected that a different seller is on it or a few other edge cases, all right? So in those cases, it's more accurate for us to estimate the sales using other methods, so that's why. David Ace, awesome webinar, Greg. Thank you so much, you rock. Thank you for tuning in, David. I've really enjoyed it. We'll take about two or three more questions um, and then it's time to wrap it up for the night. Just as a quick reminder, this deal is expiring tomorrow at midnight. This deal stops when Amazon Prime Day stops, which is tomorrow night at midnight. 
Um, if you have any existing Jungle Scout products and you wanna to upgrade to this particular deal, just email us support at junglescout.com and our team will do the best to get you sorted out. There's probably different people who have different types of products on here, so uh, we'll do our best to help you. Um, Dazi said, how accurate are the sales numbers on Jungle Scout? We actually just got done with a case study where we got a thousand ASINs real sales and we compared them to the Jungle Scout estimates and the median deviation was 7%, okay? So roughly plus or minus 7%, that was the median deviation for the Jungle Scout sales versus actual previous 30-day sales. Steve said, how much money do I need to start selling on, for selling on Amazon? A lot of people start selling on Amazon with only a few hundred bucks. Personally, like when my friends ask me that, I would recommend they have at least a thousand, more so like probably $2,000 though. Once you have that much money, it makes it much easier. You can do it with less, but you have to be like a little more scrappy and like a little more probably just um, really, really willing to just kind of like hustle and make things happen. Um, Crevera said, really good webinar. Do you offer these often? Yes, we do. Um, make, I guess now that you're subscribed to your email, our email list, you'll find out more about it. We also have an amazing YouTube channel with tons of videos just like this. So check us out on YouTube. You can just find Jungle Scout and uh, subscribe and then you'll get notified when we uh, release new videos similar to this. Um, all right. Hamza said, thank you, 7% is very good. Would be happy with all the way up to 13%. Yeah, the average is better than 13%. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the night. We are two minutes over time. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I've really enjoyed spending the past hour with you. I've Hopefully you've learned a lot. And hopefully if you're motivated at this point to sell on Amazon, um, you'll take advantage of the package. So again, that's junglescout.com forward slash prime 2018. The deal expires tomorrow night at midnight. If you email us Wednesday morning, we're gonna say thank you very much for the email, but unfortunately it can't extend the deal. Um, so tonight or tomorrow is your last chance. Remember that we do offer the money back guarantee. We won't be offering another deal this deep for the rest of the year. So keep that in mind. Maybe if you want to wait till prime day of 2019, we could hook you up again, but that's a year away. Now recommend instead that you actually be selling Amazon products on Amazon next prime day. All right. So thank you guys very much. If you have any last questions that I didn't answer, just shoot us an email support at junglescout.com and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you guys very much. See you later.